good morning guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a little bit random it's basically going to be a tour of my new bookshelf and kind of my perfume display slash storage and also a declutter of my travel sizes and minis and a little declutter of some of my samples and decants that I have so I hope that you guys enjoy it's a little bit of a mishmash of everything if this is your first time here hello and thank you so much for stopping by my channel my name is Alithia and on this channel we talk mostly about fragrances so if that is your thing definitely make sure to head on down and hit the subscribe button also feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already so before I really get into today's video, I do want to do a little bit of a preface. So the amount of perfumes that I have right now is a little bit crazy and I've been in this constant internal dilemma between do I want to declutter a lot of them and just cull my way down to like 30 perfumes or do I want to continue to collect them and just have a better way to store them. So I basically went to Walmart the other day and bought this bookshelf and I had the intention of putting all my perfumes on it so that they would be nicely stored and nicely displayed and of course that did not happen because I felt it looked cluttered and disorganized so I ended up decorating it with nice stuff instead and I still don't have really a great storage solution for my perfumes so that's just kind of a preface so I'm going to share with you today how I have my closet organized and how I have my bookshelf organized and kind of what my feelings are and my thoughts are on my current perfume collection so yeah without further ado let's get started okay guys so first before I show you the perfume tray specifics I'll just give you like a quick um, tour of my shelf so starting on the top I have a couple of handbags and I have a really nice pretty new vase of flowers that I just picked up from home sense the other day if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen that picture I just fell in love with these flowers they are um, they're so beautiful I love this vase I absolutely love like the pink and the white floral aesthetic I just think they're really really pretty and they feel like real flowers too they're a really nice material and then on the shelf underneath I have my gold perfume tray which I will go through with you in a minute and beside that I have this other vase of peonies that I've had for a really long time um, and I really like that one I thought it would look cute if I had a couple bouquets of flowers on the shelf and then beside this vase of flowers I do have my affirmations in a little frame I just have them covered here because obviously they're kind of personal and on the shelf below that I have a couple of books some of these books I already had and then this one is one that I recently picked up I got this one from actually Walmart and then beside that I have just some of my travel sizes rollerballs minis just smaller perfumes that I want to use up and go through and then I have this really cute little and sign that I got from Walmart and to the right of that I have this super cute little British Bulldog I think it's a British Bulldog forgive me if I'm wrong I don't know my dogs very well and he's actually a piggy bank he has a hole in the back of his head. I just thought he was really cute and the second I saw him I knew he would be perfect for my shelf even though I usually don't buy random decor. I couldn't help myself. I thought he was really cute. And then beside him I also have a candle. This is actually from a subscriber and on the shelf below I just have the original vase of roses that I got from Rose Forever way back in the day. I have a couple of um, Louis Vuitton items and then down here I have um, a couple of my favorite pairs of shoes including my Louis Vuittons and then my inside inspired version of Valentina Rocksteads. I do want a real pair of Valentina Rocksteads. They are on my wish list. They just haven't been a priority these last few months because I've been spending all my money on perfumes. So on my dresser, everything still looks pretty much the same. I do have my little crystal container here that has a whole bunch of samples and decants and I will go through some of those with you guys as well. I have a couple of good new ones in here. Um, I have Maison Margiela's new one, Bubble Bath. Um, actually, Yana from The Scented. Uh, she and I are really good friends and she sent me a couple of decants to try out. This is where I keep all of my little samples and decants that I'm kind of still trying to wear or work through. These are ones that I'm contemplating whether or not I want a full bottle of and I actually have to go through here and declutter that as well. So I might do that in today's video as well a little bit later on. And then coming over to the left, I have my new coffee cup. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this in my shopping cart. I don't know. Such a cute coffee mug. I absolutely love it. I like like the speckled colors. It looks like an egg. I don't know. It looks like a bird's egg to me. And I really like the embossed coffee writing. I love this thing. I have been drinking coffee and tea out of this thing like two or three times a day since I got it. And then beside that, I have my new Rose Forever Roses, which are a beautiful baby pink color. And to the left of that, I have my cake, my crystal cake tray, which I hold some of my other perfumes. 
So basically what I decided to do was on this tray I kept out most of my nighttime perfumes and some of like my favorite nighttime perfumes. So a lot of these will be very familiar to you. I'm not going to go through notes or review them or anything. I'm literally just going to list off what I have here and then I'll show you what's on my other tray and then I'll show you what's in my closet. Okay, so starting off in the back, we have Juicy Couture, Gold Couture. Beside that, we have Christian Dior, Dior Addict. We have Montel, Chocolate Greedy. We have Killian, Rolling in Love. We have Tom Ford's Noir Pour Femme, uh, Black Opium Neon. We have Tom Ford, Tobacco Vanille, Alien, Eau de Parfum. We have Le Nuit Trésor à la Folie from Lancôme. We have Kayali Vanilla 28, Princess by Killian, uh, Le Petit Robe Noir Intense. We have Ariana Grande REM, we have Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely, and that is it for this tray. So these are ones that I like to wear for nighttime, I like to wear Sarah Jessica Parker to bed, and um, yeah, and actually the Kaylee Vanilla I like to wear all the time, not just for nights, but most of these are like what I would consider cuddly, Netflix and chill, sexy, date night types of perfumes. So on this tray, what I did was I wanted the perfumes that were on this shelf, the ones that were the most visible, to be my favorite perfumes. So some of the ones that I love the most. So I literally just went through and picked out either the ones that had the most beautiful bottles or the ones that I just genuinely loved the most out of my collection. So. Obviously some of my favorites are on the other tray as well, you guys know that, but um, again I'll just quickly go through from back to front and tell you what is on this tray. So in the very back we have, oops, in the very back we have Van Cleef and Arpels Bois Doré. I really love that bottle, I just think it's so beautiful and it looks gorgeous sitting out, but plus I also love the scent profile. Beside that we have Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle. I really like this bottle as well, but I kind of wish I had the big one that had the, um, the one that has the collar on it, if you know what I mean. That one's really pretty. And if I use this whole one up, I will get a large bottle of LaBelle. Um, I also have Van Cleef & Arpels Orchid Avene, which I really like. Also a really pretty decor piece. I have Replica um, Jazz Club, but I keep this little toilet paper looking thing on it because that way it keeps the smell in there. And I like to smell it from time to time. Ahead of that, I have um, Juliana's Perfumes Red Carpet Affair. This is beautiful, you guys, and don't worry, the cap does not fall off of this one. I know some of you are having a heart attack right now, but the cap really stays on here well. I love this, and I'll just give you guys a spoiler alert and tell you that I am not in any rush to get the real Angelique Noir now that I've compared them. This one is more than good enough, so I really, really like that one. Um, beside that one, we have Delina Exclusive from Parfums de Marly. Again, it's one of my absolute favorite bottles, and it's also a beautiful decor piece. Beside that one, we have Victor and Rolf Flowerbomb. Again, one of my all-time favorite perfumes. And beside that one, we have Mon Guerlain Intense from Guerlain, one of my favorite Guerlain fragrances that I also like to wear a lot during this time of year. We also have uh, Maison Francis Kirkjean Baccarat Rouge, one of my favorite and most coveted perfumes in my entire collection. Um, we have Dior, Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. You guys know that's one of my favorites. We have Chanel Number no. 5. Again, one of my favorites. I don't wear it very often. Um, I just think it's a must-have, and I actually really like wearing that one to bed. And it makes me feel very glamorous and ritzy, and I think it looks really pretty sitting out as well. And in front of that one, we have one that I actually do wear a lot, which is Chanel Chance Eau de Parfum, my favorite Chanel fragrance. And beside that we have um, Alien Essence Absolute, which you guys know if you watch my channel, I just decanted a refill into this bottle because I don't have the original Essence Absolute bottle. So that's what perfumes I decided to keep out on this tray. So for me, I think those ones are um, kind of the prettiest and they're the ones that I just want to have like at an easy reach. And most of those, actually I think all of those are lifers. Like, I think if I ran out of any of those, I would probably rebuy a bottle um, pretty quickly. So let me show you what I have done to the other perfumes. And I have to say before I open the store, this is rudimentary. This is not perfect. Um, I also want to say a disclaimer too. A lot of people have commented and said, why don't you just get a really nice display case for your perfumes, like a nice hutch with like glass shelves and stuff. My answer is because I will be moving in the next couple of years and I won't be able to take everything with me. So that is why. So I kind of have to come up with like affordable solutions in the meantime. So this is my ru very rudimentary <laughs> um, 
perfume storage that's in my closet. So just as a disclaimer, I stole this from my daughter's room. I have to go to Walmart and find myself a different shelf or get her a different shelf. So this might be changing. I just, I needed something last night to put my perfumes off the floor. I was so tired of looking in here and seeing them sitting there in bins or boxes. I just, I couldn't do it because for me, it felt like if they're just sitting there on the floor, then maybe I should declutter them. You know, I needed them to be like stored properly so that I felt good about them. So this is the little shelf that I took from my daughter. It's a little bit dark in here, so I do apologize, you guys. Um, and I'm not going to go through every single perfume that you see here, but basically um, that is the rest of them. And I have gone through and picked out a couple of perfumes that I'm kind of on the fence about. I have about four or five that I'm contemplating getting rid of, and they are currently sitting in my contemplation bin. And if in a few weeks I don't miss those perfumes, then I'm going to sell them or donate them to somebody. So this is kind of where the rest of them are. And again, I put some of my favorite ones on the top um, or ones that I thought looked really pretty. And this is just so much better for me because now if I want to come in here and like sniff my perfumes or just enjoy them, this is a lot better. Ideally, I would like to have a nicer shelf and maybe get one cohesive shelf to put everything on together. I'm not sure. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but for now, this will do. This is much better than having them sitting on the floor. So I don't think there's any that you see here that I want to declutter. I don't think there's any that that I want to part ways with. So as much as part of me wants to declutter and part of me wants to sort through them and put them in yes and no piles, I'm not going to do it because I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> maybe I've crossed the line and maybe I'm now officially a collector. I don't know. You tell me, am I a collector? I don't know. So let's quickly sort through my travel sizes and minis and I'll tell you guys what I have in here and I know there's a couple in here that I definitely want to part ways with. Um, I've just been waiting until I did a video for you guys so that I could share it with you. So let's just start at the top. This one here is a smaller decant or sample of Juliana's Perfume Red Carpet Affair. I absolutely love this. So I'm gonna keep this because I definitely will use this up. Um, so we're gonna keep that. Usually when I have just little ones like this that are like five or eight mils, I just keep them because you can burn through them pretty quickly. So I'm gonna keep that one. This is Parfums de Marly Delina Exclusive. This is um, a decant. This is the first one that I ever got that kind of prompted me to wanna to get the real thing or like the full bottle. I'm gonna keep this because I absolutely love it. Again, it's one of my favorite fragrances and I can burn through this pretty fast. And also it's expensive. So I definitely wanna keep that one. This is Olympia from Paco Rabanne, and this is a travel size, obviously. I actually got this as a free gift when I purchased another perfume, and I think I am going to pass this along because Olympia, even though it's one of my favorite fragrances, I don't think I will ever bring it as a vacation scent. It just doesn't strike me as a vacation scent, and I'm not gonna use this. I have too many perfumes. I'm just gonna use the bottle that I have, so I'm gonna put that one aside. We also have Alien Eau de Parfum, check out this travel size of alien you guys it literally looks like something that came from outer space it's awesome this is actually the very first bottle of alien i ever had and i love it and i really really like that there's a cap on it so when you come and sniff it it's very strong which is a contrast to the original alien bottle which doesn't have a cap so if i ever really need like a good dose of alien i just come and sniff this and it just does it for me so i'm gonna keep that for sure I also have this rollerball of Kaali. This is the vanilla and the musk. I honestly don't know if I'm going to use this because I really don't like rollerballs. I prefer a spray. And to be really honest, I just don't think I'm going to use it. I have other little miniatures in here that I would bring before I would bring this. So I think I am going to pass this one along as well. Um, here we have a little Kenzo get it straight for you guys. Kenzo World Power. You guys know I love this. This is a beautiful salty, um, um, not salty amber, salty tonka bean and cypress scent. It's a little bit masculine. It's so gorgeous and I really, really love it. And this one I could see myself bringing on vacation because it would make a great beach scent. So I am going to keep this one. I also have a travel spray of Killian Princess, and I'm gonna keep this one because I think Princess might be discontinued. It's quite expensive, and I really like this scent. And this one I can see myself also bringing with me for like a weekend getaway or something like that. So we will keep that one for sure. Then we have one from Clean, and I don't know if this is just Clean or Clean Reserve. You guys tell me. I'm not really sure what the name of the brand actually is. 
And this is the Skin Scent. And you guys, I absolutely love this. I've had this for a really long time, actually. And you can see that recently I've put a little bit of a dent in it as well. It's just musky, a little sweet, just really good. I don't know, it just smells really, really good. And I really like to wear this one as well. So actually, this is one that I'm contemplating getting a full bottle of. Um, so yeah, if I keep burning through it like this and if I keep enjoying it, I might actually consider getting a big bottle of this one day. So the last three that I have in here are actually from my Discovery set when I got my Kaylee Discovery set. And I have a little um, 10 mil Discovery of the Kaylee Musk. I have a 10 mil of the Citrus. And I also have a 10 mil of the Vanilla 28. And I will probably use all three of these. Um, these ones are really good for traveling. I also think that they just make really cute decor. One day I might just set them out somewhere just for decorative purposes, but I will use all of these. So I'm definitely gonna keep these. I think they're such cute little, I hate to say collector's pieces, but they kind of are like little collector's pieces. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep those. So that's about it for sorting through those. Um, I'm gonna find a home for those and I'm gonna just put these ones back. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna quickly go through some of these samples and decants. Um, so I'm not gonna make it very long. I'm not gonna go through all of the notes. I'm just going to put them into yes and no piles if I'm keeping them or if I like to still try using them or if I actually just wanna pass them on because I know that I'm not gonna be keeping them. So Angelique Noir, I'm definitely gonna keep that one so I can keep toying with it a little bit. Bubble Bath, I'm gonna review this one for you guys so I'm gonna hold on to that one. Um, 100 Silent Ways, definitely holding on to this one because I really like this and I want to um, try wearing it a little bit more often. This one, Unknown Pleasures by Kerosene. Not a huge fan of it to begin with. Um, it kind of smells like sour candies to me right off the hop. It's not a favorite, but I'm gonna hold on to it so that maybe I can review it for you guys or if I change my mind, which I don't think I will, but just in case I do. I have a decant of Oud Bouquet from Lancome, and this is one that I don't love. It's, I've never really loved this. I like the way it smells. I just can't bring myself to wear it, but I keep holding on to it because perhaps I'll change my taste one day and then I'll want a bottle. So I do keep coming back to it just to kind of test it out every now and again. This one is one that my girlfriend actually sent to me from Montreal. Um, it is Anit Goutel Nuit et Confidence. This is a beautiful incense -y caramel fragrance and it smells very similar to Spiritus Double Vinny from Guerlain and I have actually been wearing this um, and I've been enjoying it so I'm going to hold on to that. We have um, a little sample of Electric Heart from Michael Malul. This one smells just like Victor and Raw Flower Bomb except it's a little bit sweeter and I really really like it so I'm going to hold on to that one. I also have from Michael Malul candy and I'm actually going to let this one go. I've been trying it for the last little bit and I do enjoy it, but I don't think I need this little decant. So I'm going to pass that one on. We have from MFK gentle fluidity gold. I love this. You guys, this is one that it's so opulent and so beautiful and so pretty. And I can definitely see myself getting a full bottle. At some point, I'm still just kind of playing around with it, but it's one that every time I smell it and spray it, I just love it. So yeah, it's expensive. I'm gonna keep playing with it a little bit before I make my decision. We have a little decant of Tom Ford Vini Fatal. You guys know that I've been kind of hemming and hawing about this one for a while, and I'm still not ready to make a decision, so I'm gonna hold on to that one as well. And I think the majority of what's left in here are little teeny tiny ones from um, Lucky Scent. So we're just gonna make this a really quick yes or no. I'm not gonna go through notes or anything. If you guys have questions, just ask, but I don't see any point in holding on to any of these if I don't see myself getting a full bottle. So this one is the sexiest scent on the planet ever in my humble opinion. This is a no. <laughs> Apparently I don't agree that it is the sexiest scent ever. We also have Initio Parfums Oud for Greatness. This is great, but not for myself. I think I would like it better on my boyfriend and I'm gonna let him check it out. So we'll hold on to that one. We have Byredo Mojave Ghost. I actually really like this, but I'm not quite decided. So we're gonna keep that. Love and Crime from Exi Dolo. If you guys have not smelled this, incredible. So, so, so good. So I'm gonna hold on to this sample for sure. We have um, from Profumum Confetto. This one basically smells like um, 
hypnotic poison times 10. And I don't need this because it literally just smells like hypnotic poison, but a little bit intensified. So I'm going to pass that one on. This one, BDK Parfums Rouge Smoking. This one I had told you guys I really liked, but actually now that I've had a couple chances to wear it, there's something about it I don't like. There's something about that cherry note in there that just bothers me. So I'm going to pass that one on. Um, we have BDK Parfums Passe Soir. This one's actually really pretty. Um, I don't like it though. Like I don't really, really like it. I, yeah, I'm going to pass that one on. I don't think I can ever see myself getting a full bottle of that one. We have Amouage Sunshine Woman. Um, it's nice, but I don't love it. Um, maybe I should hold on to it because just in case I ever want to come back to it and check it out, if my tastes ever change. We have Zerjoff Lyra. People always ask me what I think about Lyra. I love this, you guys. It's a beautiful lemon, pastry, gourmand, powdery, caramel, vanilla. It's, it's just absolutely to die for. It's really, really pretty. I'm just not 100% sure that I need a full bottle because I have other gourmand fragrances and I have a gourmand fragrance coming that I like more than this one. But I am going to hold on to this because I do really like it and I want to keep coming back to it. We have 100 Silent Ways from Nishane. Again, going to hold on to that one. We have um, Byredo Belle de Freak. Um, I'm going to hold on to this one as well. I actually am starting to really like Belle de Freak. The more that I wear it, the more I like it. So definitely going to keep playing with that one. We have Initio Rehab. This is one that I will probably come back and revisit. It's a really dark, smoky, boozy, sexy nighttime fragrance. Um, I'm not head over heels with it, but I'm going to hold on to it. We have Zerjoff Herba Pira. This is incredible, you guys. This is one of the yummiest, strongest smelling citrus fragrances and most interesting citrus fragrances that I've ever smelled. It's citruses, fruity notes, and a vanilla ambery base. It's really unique and really beautiful. I just don't know if I'm ready for a full bottle, but I definitely need to keep experimenting with that one. We have Amouage Ashore. This is a beautiful one. This one is very floral, but it also has some solar notes. It reminds me of being literally at the beach, at the side of a river, or like just the most beautiful waterfront in the world. It's so pretty. I'm gonna hold on to it for now. I don't think I'll get a full bottle because it does pull a little bit white floral, but I'm gonna hold on to it. We have Initio Side Effect. This one I'm still debating. This is that really strong, boozy tobacco vanilla. I'm still debating. I kind of am leaning toward no, just because I prefer Jazz Club to this one, and Jazz Club is more affordable and more wearable, so hold on to it for now. We have Mazzolari Vaniglia. This is incredible, you guys. This is basically caramel, vanilla, and orchid, so it's kind of like a super, super gourmand version of Victor and Roth Flower Bomb. Love this. Um, I'm actually looking for a full bottle. Probably going to get a full bottle of this, so we'll hold on to that. We have Killian Good Girl Gone Bad. This one I haven't made up my mind about. I've only tried it on my skin once, which isn't enough to make a decision. It's quite expensive. It's a pretty white floral, very wearable, but it does have a bit of a sexier, kind of a seductive nighttime sort of a base to it. So yeah, this one I'm definitely gonna hold on to. And this one, Juliet Has a Gun Lipstick Fever. So this is very um, similar to Maison Margiela Replica uh, Lipstick On. It has a very lipsticky kind of a vibe to it, but I think there's also raspberry in the opening or something, and I don't love it. What I really prefer over this one is Rolling in Love from Killian. If you're debating Lipstick Fever and Lipstick On or Rolling in Love, I would just say get one of the other two. This is okay, but it's not a must have. So I'm gonna declutter that one as well. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed having coffee and talking about perfumes with me yet again. And I will see you guys all very soon. Bye for now.